I love what Nancy said. It's not what I've done or what I haven't done. It's all based on what Jesus did. And he did it 2,000 years ago. He did it on a cross. And the Bible's quite clear. By his stripes, we are healed. The apostle Peter, he quoted that verse from Isaiah chapter 53. He quoted it and said, by his stripes, we were healed. He put it in the past tense. You can put your disease, you can put your pain, you can put everything that is wrong in the past tense because Jesus makes it possible. The same sacrifice that paid the price for all your sin, he laid on him the iniquity of us all. That's Isaiah chapter 53. It's same, same chapter, same act, same crucifixion. That shows God's will. God's will is for you to be forgiven of all your sins. His will is for you to be healed of all your diseases. He has already provided the sacrifice. It's not based on what you do. It's based on you saying yes to that. Let that word be quickened for you. Let it become your yes and amen. May all the promises of God be for you, yes and amen, in Christ Jesus. It's not based on anything else. We get so wrapped up in religious concepts, you know, I've got to make myself good enough, or I've got to, you know, fast enough, or I've got to tithe enough, I've got to do all of the enough in order for God to pay any attention to me. Well, he loves you infinitely, before the world was ever created, before he laid out the foundation of the world, he was thinking of you and thinking how he could provide good things for you, good works for you to do, things that would satisfy the desires of your heart. But most importantly, that you would be unveiled, that you would be able to see him and hear him and experience his healing, his forgiveness, his salvation. You can have it all and you can have it right now. Pray a wonderful prayer. Pray that your eyes would be opened, your ears would be opened, that you would understand the greatness of his power towards us who believe. I'm quoting the, uh, the Apostle Paul. You can have the same prayer. He, he wrote the prayer down for us, for us to follow it. Pray your eyes would be open, your ears would be open. All doubt and unbelief would be scattered from your heart in the light of his glorious presence, the greatness of his power towards us who believe. Now, Ashley and I are going to pray for you. Before we pray, we've got some other miracles that have happened. Here's Pamela from North Carolina. She had macular holes in her left eye. This condition can cause decreased distorted vision, and macular holes don't close on their own. The doctor said you need surgery. She called CBN's prayer line, and we agreed with Pamela for healing based on God's word. After prayer, the hole closed. What the doctor said never happened. Mm -hmm. It happened. The hole closed. Her vision returned to 2020. Wow, that's absolutely incredible. Here's another miracle answer to prayer. This is Joanne. She emailed us saying, I watch the 700 Club every morning. Thank you for watching. I have been praying with Gordon for healing of my neck, back, and hip. After praying for many months, I'm feeling God's healing, and I'm so thankful. Have faith and believe Jesus heals. Also, prayers for my sons have been answered. Thank you, Jesus. I've grown in faith through Scripture. Praise God. Let's pray. Lord God Almighty, we come to you. We come believing in the one that you sent. We come believing in Jesus. His very name means salvation. He is the essence of salvation, of healing, forgiveness, the very reflection of your love and who you are. Now we ask that you would stretch forth your hand to do miracles. Open our eyes that we can see it. Open our ears that we may comprehend so that we could turn and you could heal our disease. Do this for us, Lord, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Ashley, God's given you something. Yeah, two things. I, I believe somebody's watching with a right hip issue, and it's almost like the bone is deteriorating, and it's causing a lot of pain. And I just believe God is touching your body right now. He's touching that hip. I believe the bone will be completely restored, and you will not have to suffer any longer with that pain. In Jesus' name, just receive it and believe it. 
Also, I just believe God is literally uh, opening ears today. I believe a lot of people who are having ear issues, hearing issues, I just believe he's literally opening your ears right now. Things will begin to pop and you will begin to hear like you haven't been able to in a long time. Just receive that right now. Thank you, Jesus. There's someone you heard the testament of a about macular holes, and you are suffering with macular degeneration. You even have a tear in the retina. You're looking at surgery to reattach it. God is able. He is healing your right eye right now. Just receive it in Jesus' name. There's someone else. You've suffered with retinal problems for years. And you've lost vision in one eye, and God is able. He's able to restore what the doctors say can never be restored. He's able to give you your sight back. Mm -hmm. Eyes were made to see. And just put your hand over your eye that needs that healing. In Jesus' name, be healed and be made whole. There's somebody else watching. You've got like some sores in your throat and it's very painful and difficult for you to talk and eat and even take deep breaths. And I just believe God is healing you of that right now. The sores will begin to go away in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. If you need prayer, we're here for you. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call us, 1-800-700-7000.